peace and blessings, peace and blessings. I know like a couple of my videos ago, I did a video on locusts and I made a mistake, y'all. I thought John the Baptist from the Bible, I thought he was eating the real locust. But not to mention there's a fruit called locust. And that fruit is aka called stinky toe fruit <laughs> so it's like a powdery fruit where it doesn't really smell that good but i know if you mix it with wild honey i guess it's pretty good for a lot of things so this fruit is a small size pot of engine two to five centimeters in diagram and seven to 13 centimeters in length. So it kind of look like a tambrin for those of you, you know what a tambrin look like. But the shell is much harder where you gotta use like a rock or something to crack it open. So it also have a short stubby oblong to like, it's shaped like a kidney or like I said, a tambrin and there's like an inner layer of it. So when you crack the shell, there's a skin on it that you gotta take off. And then once you take the skin off, you, you get to like, it's like a powdery fruit where it's, it's similar to like milk, you know, like the milk powder or something. So it's shaped, it's curved like a kidney it weighs like 20 to 84 grams and have a tough texture shell the seasonability stinky toe fruit is available in the summer and it grows like in certain places too like south america certain places like jamaica Certain places in the Caribbean, they might have a different name for it at times, but it's really, really healthy for some reason. So the current facts is stinky toe fruit, botanically classified as a Hamania carboril, carboril. It's a rare species belonging to the Fabis, Fabisi family. The pods grow on large average green leaves, green tree, reaching from 30. So the trees can reach from 30 to 45 meters in height. And the species is a general, is in general is one of the tallest trees in South America. So it's in one of the top tallest trees in America. The locusts. So they might have a different name for it. National value is a source of fiber and regulate and digestive track vitamin C to strengthen the immune system, iron to develop the protein, and myoglobin for the oxygen transport. transport. So it's good for your, your lungs and everything. It's good for your blood. Keep the bloodstream flowing. It's high on potassium and it balances out fluid levels within the body. The flesh also provides calcium to build strong bones and teeth, vitamin A to maintain healthy organ functioning, magnesium, and to control the blood pressure. Antioxidant 
to reduce inflammation and protect the cells against free radical damage. And other nutrients including phosphorus, phosphorus and zinc. So it's also high in zinc. That's deep. The application to stinky fruit have a sweet and musty taste suited for fresh and cooked preparation. The pad must be cracked open and are typical, typically hit with a brick, rock, or hammer to break apart. Once open, the flesh is removed and the seed, because it's the seed are extracted, leaving only the fine powdery flesh. So it got seeds in it too, where you gotta take the seeds out. So that's what I meant that John the Baptist used to take when he was in the wilderness praying and stuff. He used to eat locusts with wild honey. So I guess he used to mix it up and make something you know out of it make like either some type of like snack out of it so it wasn't the literally bug that he was eating so i just wanted to clear that up so don't quote me on that with the video that i did before that about the locust everything else i said about the locust is 100 percent correct but it's just this fine little part when I said John the Baptist used to eat the locusts. <laughs> that's where I'm clearing up. So that's what this, this video is about. Hopefully this word was a blessing to you guys. Love you guys. Feel free to reach out to me and God bless you. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe and comment down below. Let me know if this was helpful in any ways. God bless you. Peace out. See you in the next video.